welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm doing this reverse wing which was 100% inspired by makeup by Spencer if you know me you know that I love him I'm inspired by him I did a video where I recreated one of his looks already he noticed it we met he did my makeup it was a whole thing he's lovely amazing if you don't already follow painted by Spencer check him out so yeah, I basically just followed the steps that he gave in his video to achieve this look right here. The only thing that I switched out, instead of a black wing, I went with a royal blue wing. So if you want to see how I got this look right here, please keep on watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Starting this look off with my favorite moisturizer, Embryo Lease. This is a French brand and it's so luxurious but pretty affordable. You can get it at the beauty supply store or on Amazon. I'll link it down below. This is a cult favorite of mine. And I'm applying this just with my damp beauty blender. Then I'm going in with my Dermalogica Total Eye Care. Listen y'all, I'm getting older. I need to start wearing eye cream if I'm gonna wear concealer because she's getting a little creasy creasy. For foundation today, I will be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Clearly this is light for my face, but it matches my neck and decollete, so this is a good match for me. I'm applying this to my back of my hand and then with a damp beauty blender and just patting this in all over the skin. For concealer, I'm using my Kevin Aquan to highlight my under eyes. I'm kind of cinching my nose here and lifting my face upwards by doing my strokes like this. And I'm just lightly applying in the places that I feel like are naturally kind of highlighted in my face and just bringing out that dimension um, more and more. contour, I'm using the Black Opal Foundation in the shade Chestnut. To be honest, I accidentally used a bit of a heavy hand with this contour, so it does take me quite a bit to blend, but I will include some of the blending footage, taking a page out of Painted by Spencer's book here, but not all of the blending footage because honestly there's not enough storage on my camera <laughs> for the amount of time it took me to blend all that out. To set the makeup, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just kind of like rolling and bouncing this into the skin with my beauty blender. You'll see this technique here where I like press it into the skin and roll the sponge off. This just kind of like evens out any creasing and like really allows the powder to become one with the skin. To highlight more, I'm using a brush to actually allow the powder to sit on type, top of the skin to sort of bake. Um, and I'm just placing this on with a brush. Next, I'm busting out my Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie palette and picking up the shade Necessary. You guys, this is such a good palette. As you can see, it's very busted. I don't use it in my videos that much because it's so busted, because I've used the crap out of it, but it's probably my favorite palette to ever exist. I just think they did an amazing job at creating the perfect neutrals and also add in some fun shimmery colors for more creative looks. So I'm just sweeping this taupey color all over the lid in no particular area, kind of doing a bit of a wing and buffing out my lower lash line as well. Now for the Marc Jacobs Highliner Pencil in the shade Out of the Blue. And it was out of the blue the way this pencil was all the way rolled up like this. But it's a twisty top so I was able to just kind of twist it and push it back down. Um, but yeah, was not expecting that. So I'm just applying this to my waterline and lower lash line. Being very generous with this because this is the statement of the look. Like this is the story we're telling. So go ahead and take it under the lower waterline as well and really onto the lid and kind of drag it out at that outer corner for that reverse wing and pull it out with a flat angled brush. I went ahead and tight lined with this as well. Then I decided to just chop up um, one lash and into these little pieces and I added some more individuals. For lip liner I'm using the shade Cork by MAC. 
Um, he lined the lips with like a brown mauve shade. This felt a little bit too warm, but I rolled with it. And he used a dusty road shade for the center of the lip. This shade is literally called Dusty Rose, but I felt like it was too dark, so I added this light pink shade. And as you can see, using the back of my hand as a palette. And honestly, this was still a little bit too dark for me, but it's a good start. I love this Senna palette. It's a lip and cheek palette, so you could use this for your lips or your cheeks. Um, this isn't part of my kit, so that's why you see me scraping it out with a spatula, just to be really sanitary. But I do use the back of my hand as my palette. Um, to kind of warm up the product and yes, we're being generous with blush and I'm taking a swipe of this on my lip as well And I like the way that is lightening things up a bit as well, too So go ahead and blend this out with a beauty blender um, And oh my gosh, this is the best clear gloss period It's from Danessa Myricks and it's just this clear gloss I use it on all my shoots when I want the model's lips to just look bussin dripping shining reflecting it's like so shiny and juicy i love it and that's how we went from this to this thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have a beautiful day